Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 12th, and it's a beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, gonna be cloudy later, but no rain, no snow, just nice this time of year weather. Uh, daylight savings time today. That took me by surprise. <laughs> I, you know, normally I'm, I'm pretty good about it, but this morning I, my alarm went off and I looked at, I've got a digital clock that I have to manually set. And then I've got like a Google alarm thing that fi figures itself out. And I got my cell phone. Yeah, I have three alarms waking me up. And so two out of the three were going off and, and the, the, the clock, the digital clock just wasn't right and I was very confused for a minute. It just shows you how out of touch I am these days with uh, with everything. <laughs> just head down, move forward, don't don't look up, you might get distracted. Anyway, it is daylight savings time, that means that uh, spring is rapidly approaching. Uh, I think we got like I don't know, six, eight more days, something like that, of, uh, of winter. And that means fly fishing season is upon us, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, more about fly fishing later, but right now I am enjoying a basket billiard. You've seen me smoke this before, I'm sure. One of my favorite pipes. I like these little billiards. I, I, not not tiny, but you know, just not just the right size. Got my Larry Blackett. Uh, what is this called? Brass Monkey. And I'm smoking Haunted Bookshop because I titled this video, what did I title this video? <laughs> Something like The Ghost in the Haunted Bookshop or maybe just A Ghost in the Haunted Bookshop. Um, I've been thinking a lot this week about tobaccos and Haunted Bookshop in, in particular. Because I've got this, well, this is a little embarrassing, but we're just grabbing one handful here. There's probably about half as much still over there. I've got all these little baggies of tobacco that, you know, either they're samples that I bought, well, you know, like one ounce, two ounce sort of things to try something, or a lot of them are things that people kindly sent to me, um, which I, you know, I really appreciate it. But... I don't smoke them. I, I, I'll have a bowl or two, but I keep going back to Haunted Bookshop. I don't enjoy them as much as I enjoy Haunted Bookshop. And I'm trying to figure out why, because, you know, the day may come, it's hard to imagine, but the day may come where I don't have Haunted Bookshop, and how am I going to get by then? I'll get by. I'll smoke the next best thing and I will enjoy it. So it's not like the end of the world, but I want to understand it. Maybe I want to understand me. I don't know. So I've been on this kick. One of the baggies, which is right here, is an old, you can hear how crunchy this is, an old uh, bag of uh, granulated perique, Cornell and Deal granulated perique, which I don't even think you can get anymore. I could be wrong about that. It's good stuff. If you're blending, if you want to add perique to something, try to find granulated because it just mixes easier than the ribbon. Uh, when you, if you settle on something, decide I want to, you know, make a lot of this, then get the ribbon, and you know, because I, I think it probably burns better. I think. I, I don't, know. don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I've been on this kick of adding perique to things. Because I'm thinking maybe the thing about Haunted Bookshop is the Preak. Uh, for example, I like Pegasus. It's fine. But it's not this. And it doesn't have Preak. And by the way, Old Joe Krantz, very similar. I, I could live with Old Joe Krantz. I, I, I wouldn't need to add anything to that. To, although, you know what I would probably do? I would probably add more Burley. Because the difference between Point and Bookshop and Old Joe Krantz is that Old Joe Krantz has more of the Red Virginia. So if I brought up the Burley, it would probably be much more similar to this. Not that I don't like Old Joe Krantz, but again, I keep coming back to Haunted Bookshop. Because there's a ghost in there. <laughs> and I can't find it. Uh, 
So anyway, I've been adding Perique to everything to see if it, it makes me suddenly say, oh, I, this is something I would love to smoke all the time. And so far it hasn't, but it's done some interesting things. Um, yesterday, you're going to think I'm crazy. Yesterday I added it to that some of that uh, haunted pirate ship that I've been trying to smoke. Don't do that. <laughs> Just take my word for it. Don't do that. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. It, you know, to me, Haunted Pirate Ship tastes like Latakia. When I added the Perique to it, it tasted like Latakia. But there have been a few blends that have really changed positively, in my opinion. And again, these aren't bad to begin with. I wouldn't take something like Lane 1Q, which I don't know how anybody smokes that stuff. I wouldn't add Perique to that because it's just going to taste like Lane 1Q. Um, so these are things that I'm enjoying, just not as much. And, uh, you know, one of the things was the, uh, Cornell and Deal Virginia Gentleman. Uh, this was something that Doug Owen kindly sent me. Um, uh, very nice blend. I like it. I talked about it previously on, on the, the channel here. I like it. It's just not going to be, you know, my go-to. Uh, so I added some Perique to that and it actually was really nice. It, um, uh, it Perique'd it up. I don't know how else to explain it. If you know what Perique tastes like, then, then you probably can imagine what it did. So it's just been kind of fun to experiment with this and also use up this ancient bag of Perique. And I, I'm not rehydrating it because I'm only putting in, I don't know, maybe 10% at the most. So the bulk of the tobacco is well hydrated and that's just going to burn a little bit faster, but I'm not worried about it. So, it's fun to do this, and, you know, if, if you're a Latakia guy, get yourself some Latakia. If you're, if you're a Perique guy, get some Perique, uh, whatever. Get, get some of these condiment, condimental tobaccos, is that right? Old Dark Fired is another good one. And, uh, yeah, you get a blend that's kind of okay. Just sprinkle in a little bit of your favorite condiment and, uh, and see what it does to it. It also helps you learn to taste the tobacco, which is nice. And maybe you'll find the ghost in your favorite blend. Uh, so, fly, fly, well, trout season is around the corner. It actually starts on April 1st, I believe. I think it's opening day. And I'm really looking forward to it. I Last year was the first year since my health issues where I really felt like I can go fishing again. And I did. And loved it. And I'm really looking forward to getting out this year. So that's that's exciting for me. Um, so my father-in-law, who's a, a wonderful guy and actually the guy that got me into fly tying, um, He's in his 90s. Uh, he's got some mobility issues, but he loves fishing. And he he asked me last week if I could make a fly rod for him. He wants a short. Uh, what he's looking for is a five foot six inch five weight, which is just not possible. So I'm thinking maybe I can make a five foot six inch four weight. Um, and you know something small that you can take to a little stream or a pond a lake or something and, and just sit there and chuck the fly out more or less. I mean, sort of a glorified spin casting, but hey, it's what he wants. And I said, you know, of course I'll make you a fly rod. I haven't made a fly rod in 15 years, so this is going to be exciting. So I go to buy the components and all of the, all of the places I would buy components from are either uh, dramatically different or non-existent. Uh, my favorite supplier doesn't carry rod building supplies anymore. They they just they just do fly tying stuff, and I used to be able to get everything from them. Plus, a lot of the manufacturers have changed. Of course, there's no the model blanks that I used to use don't exist anymore. And I'm like, geez, I I mean, first off, he wants an odd thing, so I'm gonna have to probably find something close and customize it. But now. I don't even know where to begin looking. It's like I'm starting over again, you know, and I, 
I was pretty good when <laughs> back when I was doing it uh, more regularly, and uh, now I feel like I'm I'm a, I'm a novice again. So it's interesting. I might I might do some video on this, uh, not because I necessarily think it's a good idea to show you all how I build a fly rod. Not that I'm hiding it, I just don't think it's going to be that interesting to a lot of you. But because I'm realizing I just don't remember a lot of what I did. And it would be really nice to have some videos to go back and, and watch and say, oh, that's how I did it. So it's more of a, a notebook for me. I don't know, I find it's, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. My memory is not what it used to be. And, uh, yeah, it might be because of the health issues I had. Uh, I know I, I lost a lot of memories from that time as a chemotherapy treatment. I lost a lot of memories from that time, um, which, you know, it's, that's been six years since, since that was done. And uh, I can remember pretty well the past six years, but that like period, like maybe three or four years before that and during that time, it's really hard for me to conjure up. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. I, I'm a I'm a neuroscience guy, so it fascinates me that you know, I'm doing an experiment on myself, basically. You know, getting old is, is a part of it. <laughs> If, if you're still young, don't get old. So my grandfather used to tell me, Mike, whatever you do, don't get old. I didn't listen. Um, and as my friend uh, Mark in Rhode Island pointed out to me, you can try, but keep in mind the alternative is not so great. <laughs> so. I, this morning, I wanted to clip my fingernails, and I go into the bathroom and clip my fingernails, and I realized as I'm doing this, this is really impossible to do without wearing reading glasses. That's crazy. I have to put reading glasses on to cut my own fingernails. But such is life, you know. It's what happens. Enjoy it while you got it, guys. <laughs> anyway, I've actually smoked through this haunted bookshop. I probably should have reloaded before I started the video. But I've talked about everything I want to. And you guys probably want to get off and... Do whatever you're going to do on Sunday. Me, I'm going to... The wife's still away, so i got some household-type things i got to do, some chores. And uh, I'm <laughs> going to look for fly rod parts. So with that, folks, I will draw this video to a close. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.